I'm Elvis Mitchell, curator for Film Independent at LACMA, and welcome to Camera d'Afrique, the films of West Africa in partnership with LMU Film School and Film Independent at LACMA. This week's selections from Camera d'Afrique. The 1993 film Au Nom du Christ is from Ivory Coast director Roger Gonan Mbala the great Peter Middex satire of religious possession, the ruling class, was made in the Ivory Coast, as it does influenced by European film. It's hard to look at the film and not think of the great Peter Middex satire of religious possession, the ruling class. It follows the impact that a man who may be holy man, miracle man, or imposter, Magliore, um, and he steps in and just the insanity of the opening scene in which he's in grass skirt and tribal garb, speaking French, throwing holy water and terrifying the people standing around him is truly one of the most amazing sights I've seen the movie to come out of any place. This sort of schism between the kind of father figures imposed on Africans by the West and Western religion and Christianity and what it means to understand that there are powers in nature that are as great and deserving as anything else. Probably one of the most important cultural figures of any continent of the past hundred years would be the filmmaker and author Usman Semben. Semben's first film is Baram Soret, which takes a really interesting look at Senegalese society. He made the film in 1963. He had spent time in Paris, bumming around as an author, becoming basically enraged and awakened as a socialist after working very hard and being treated horribly as a dock worker in Senegal, in Dakar, before moving back and forth to Paris and deciding he has stories in him to tell about that understanding of what it's like to be a man of Dakar versus a man with Paris pulling at him. The 1982 Finye, which translates as the wind, is from the director, writer, Suleiman Sisse. A pair of young people, Ba, who's determined to like make his way as a student and get out of his homeland and maybe go away to Paris, where his best friend, the young woman, Batru, is going to be sent away by her father, who's a colonel in the small town. And the sense that we get, the wind is awakening both of these young people, and she and Ba get involved in a student revolt that awakens even the older people in the, in the small town. But her father, Bachu's father, is determined to quash this. It's a movie that has one of the most striking scenes you'll see in any movie this year, when the young men in the town, if they've been arrested, are having their heads shaved. And there's a shot of one of the boys getting shaved with a razor and the blood streaking down the nape of his neck that's just completely unforgettable and is about the sort of the emasculation and the way he's being beaten down and having his modernity literally shaved off his body. It is a must-see film. Thank you.